Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In last few videos, we have talked about LTPC network and most of the network nodes in LTPC network. However, all these network nodes are connected to each other by certain interfaces and they communicate to each other by using certain protocols. In this series of presentation, we are going to talk about all these interfaces and protocols in detail. Now, before we talk about all these interfaces individually, let's have a look at complete picture. And here we see some interfaces, which is like LTUU interface, which is the interface between UE and the E node B. We have X2 interface, which is connecting one E node B to another E node B. And this is not a mandatory interface, but is an optional interface. We have S1 MME interface connecting E node B to the MME and S1U interface between E node B and HEW. This interface typically takes care of the control plane communication with the E node B. This interface typically takes care of user plane communication towards the E node B. The MME controls the HEW by using S11 interface and it connects to S6A, uh, connects to HSS on S6A interface. MMEs can also communicate with each other by using S10 interface. The S5S interface, which is typically a control plane and user plane interface between HGW and PGW. PGW connects to PCRF by using S7 interface and PCRF connects to PDN by using RX plus interface. In some of the documents, you may also see S7 interface referred as GX interface and this name comes from the previous 2G and 3G network where this was an interface between the GGSN and the PCRF and we used to refer this interface as GX. PGW is doing functions similar to GGSN and that's why we also refer this S7 interface as GX interface. Now, what is the difference in S5 and S8? S5 and S8 are the interfaces between S gateway and P gateway and this will be named as S5 if S gateway and P gateway belongs to the same network and will be called as S8 if S gateway and P gateway belongs to the different P elements. What is the role of same P element, different P element here? At the later stage, when we'll talk about roaming architecture of LTPC network, we are going to talk about it. But this is a quick summary of all the interfaces. In the upcoming videos, we are going to talk about all these interfaces one by one and also the protocols running on them. So hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much and have a good day. Take care.